every time I come here, I have uh, this scar on the inside from when David West had 48 points and 24 rebounds. Um, it just, it, it, walking in the door, it just hits me. Uh, and I was just the ops guy. Uh, I thought Xavier really played well uh, to end the first half. To start the second half, uh, they had a extreme pace and intensity with which they were running their offense. Oliveri obviously uh, was terrific with getting free, getting loose. He was a big point of emphasis for us, and he's still making shots. Uh, McKnight, I told him in the uh, handshake after the game, he gets the ball down the floor about as fast as anybody I've ever seen. Probably a tie with Ty Lawson. Um, and and <laughs> we showed the guys every time that he busted out and got in the paint against Butler in the last Savior game. And we told our guys, hey, this was probably a game plan for Butler to stop this, and he's still getting it. Well, same thing for us. It's a game plan for us, and I would say at least eight times um, he's in a paint and transition creating. Uh, but the best thing we did, we, we continued to trust uh, throughout the game each other and our process. There was a lot of tests that Xavier threw at us, that you know, being on the road threw at us, um, you know, some calls that didn't go our way, some foul trouble. And you know, that's how you maintain the mental toughness to, to stay, on the, uh, stay together on the road, is you just keep trusting. Shaka, how big is this for the team heading into the postseason? Without Tyler on the road, foul trouble in the second half, just to win this game, what do you want the team to take away from this? Well, you know, I didn't want to tell the guys that uh, before the game. I didn't want to put undue pressure on them uh, because we try to play out of approach goals instead of avoidance goals. But it absolutely was an incredibly big win for us, um, not only because it's a Big East road win, but because I think our guys actually – have played pretty darn well with Tyler out. And coming into tonight, we had nothing to show for it in the win-loss column. Obviously, we played maybe the best team in the country on Wednesday and one of the top 10 teams in the country the previous Saturday. Um, but as, as you know, when you get to this level, there's no real you know, awards given for playing well and losing. Um, and you get to March, you have to find a way to win games like this. So. It's a big one for us. Um, you know, I told the guys, nobody on March 9th is fresh as a daisy. Everybody's banged up. Um, Chase Ross was a real warrior for us, playing 29 minutes. He's, you know, dealing with some, you know, different uh, times where he got hurt, as are a couple of our other guys. But uh, we, we have to go to war and battle, and I thought the guys did a good job of that. How did you see Cam kind of grab control of the game, not only with his scoring, but with his playmaking as well? He did a nice job managing the game. You know, he's all of a sudden become our point guard because both of our point guards are not playing right now in, in, in Sean and Tyler. Um, he's always been good in pick and roll, making decisions, uh, but it's different when you're the primary ball handler. I thought the most impressive thing that he did, did today was he overcame fatigue uh, because he was tired a few times out there and there was a couple tired plays where you know, I turned to our coaches, I said, should we sub him and get him a minute? And they're like, no, we can't. Um, and then he came back the very next time and, and made the right play. He's tough to deal with because he can put spin on the ball from different angles. He can finish with his right hand, his left hand, um, and obviously shot the ball well from outside. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, I know you started the game shooting a little bit slow from deep. You had some good looks, and they just weren't falling. Um, how did your defense sort of help you fight through that? Because then you ended the game uh, seven of your last seven and hit a lot of big shots. Yeah, you know, we I think we were two for 12 um, to start the game. I thought they were good looks. David Joplin, Chase Ross, they had wide open looks from outside. You know, when you're playing a team that, that plays two bigger guys most of the time, you know, there are going to be some opportunities to get those guys maybe in a coverage where you can create open shots, but then you got to make them. And again, that was one of the tests that we faced tonight. You know, that's the ball doesn't go in. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about EGBs. The number one EGB for an individual player is when they see the ball go in. And so the opposite of that can be true as well. But 
You don't have time to feel sorry for yourself. Um, it certainly wasn't our best defensive game, and Xavier had a lot to do with that, the pace and the aggressiveness with which they, they played. But I thought that our guys showed good fight and scrapped out some plays when we needed it. Along those lines, Shaka, it seemed like a couple of times, big moments in that second half where you guys had to answer, and that's what March basketball is, obviously. But how important is it to show that ability to answer, especially when you're down late within the final minute in March? Well, I think, you know, when you recruit high character guys like we try to do, um, the flip side of that is sometimes you can be a little bit like the little engine that, you know, could. And particularly when you have the reigning Big East player of the year on the, on the bench in, in street clothes. So I thought that, you know, our guys did a really good job helping each other just continue to believe and feel like we could do it. Uh, believe it or not, you know, we still have a lot of guys, you know, that are becoming. And um, a big part of that's confidence. But as you mentioned, uh, in March, you have to go attack and make those plays if you want to have a chance to win. With uh, Tyler out, and you're, you're looking for contributions from a lot of different guys, and for Ben and Stevie to hit two big shots tonight at key moments, how big is that moving forward? Well, you know, they say it's a make or miss game. Um, I believe Xavier went to a triangle in two or, or some type of defense where they left, Z where they left Stevie open. Um, if he doesn't make the shot, you know, maybe I'm sitting up here talking about a different result. He stepped up, he made the shot. I told the guys in the locker room, when you're in that situation, you got two choices. You can either not shoot because they're not guarding you and they're telling you that it's good for them if you shoot, or you know, you can do what you worked on every single day and your teammates can have ultimate faith and belief in you and trust the, the outcome, and that's what the guys did. That's it, thanks. Thank you, guys.